Have you ever wondered what caused Aston Martin, once a promising team in Formula One, to get into this downfall? The shocking truth behind their epic downfall reveals a story filled with twists and turns. From high expectations to disappointing results, it's a roller coaster journey. So let's dive into this video today to uncover the startling facts that led to Aston Martin's unexpected decline in the racing world. Aston Martin's performance in 2023 has been far from its best days. The team's decline throughout the season suggests it won't end on a high note. Any hopes of outshining Mercedes and Ferrari in the championship seem almost impossible now. On the contrary, McLaren, led by Fernando Alonso, is in a better position to maintain its championship standing, if not improve it. Moreover, his recent podium finish in Zandvoort, where Alonso secured second place, might seem like a revival. However, it's more likely attributed to Alonso's skills rather than Aston Martin's overall performance. As seen in several races, the team hasn't consistently competed at the top level. From Monza to Singapore and Japan, the team's performance hasn't lived up to expectations. Why the decline? The exact reasons behind Aston Martin's drop in performance are not easy to pinpoint. Some theories suggest that changes in wing regulations might have affected the team. There are also speculations about tire construction changes. However, the simplest explanation seems to be that Aston Martin hasn't managed to develop its car effectively compared to its competitors. Team boss Mike Crack admitted that their upgrades didn't yield the expected results. Fernando Alonso also highlighted the team's need for growth and improvement. A more optimistic view of Aston Martin's season is that it might be transitioning. The team has recently moved into a new factory and has plans for a new wind tunnel. They've also recruited technical experts from other teams. These changes could take time to fully integrate and produce positive results. Considering the team's performance last year, finishing in the top five constructors with seven podiums in 2023 was a decent target. Canadian Grand Prix woes. Considering their potential this season, Aston Martin's recent performance in the Canadian Grand Prix was a letdown. They're heading in a downward direction, risking a lackluster year. Losing momentum is concerning, and reversing this trend is vital. To do so, Aston Martin needs a more competitive car than McLaren, Ferrari, and Mercedes, along with consistent points from their second driver. Team boss Mike Crack stresses the need to turn things around. Crack doesn't blame mid-season flexi-wing directives for Aston Martin's struggles. He believes they haven't fallen behind Red Bull, others have caught up. Looking at the bigger picture, their one-lap speed has dropped, making competing with Ferrari and Mercedes tough. Meanwhile, McLaren is on the rise, closing the championship gap to 49 points. McLaren's resurgence started in Austria with a new technical structure, followed by upgrades in Singapore. They've earned four podiums and 155 points in eight races, narrowing the gap to Aston Martin by just 67 points. McLaren is in a favorable position with two strong drivers, while Aston Martin relies heavily on Fernando Alonso, Oscar Piastri's strong performance. Oscar Piastri has managed to score 52 points in the last eight races, even though he has been a race behind Lando Norris, both times a major upgrade arrived. In contrast, Aston Martin's total points at that time were only 67. This shows Piastri's impressive performance. On the other hand, Lance Stroll has had a mix of good and bad moments. While he has faced some unfortunate situations, like retiring in Japan due to precautionary reasons, he has often underperformed in qualifying and made avoidable mistakes, such as crashing during the Singapore Grand Prix. Stroll's performance has not matched the competitive car he has at Aston Martin, which is a concern for the team. F1 returns to Qatar. Formula One is returning to Qatar after a year, and the Losail International Circuit promises high-speed sweeping racing. This track is set to become a regular fixture on the calendar for the next decade. While the circuit underwent some renovations this year, it did not significantly change the layout that challenged drivers and their cars in 2021. The Los Isle International Circuit is also unique because it will host F1, MotoGP, and the World Endurance Championship in the same season in 2024. This makes it one of the few tracks to ever achieve this feat, marking its importance in international motorsport. Worrying signs. Aston Martin's season overview. Aston Martin started the season strong, eyeing podiums and a high championship position. However, they have faced challenges and a decline in performance. Meanwhile, McLaren has improved with strong drivers, effective technical upgrades, and capable leadership. Aston Martin's struggles have hindered their development, especially in the driver department. They need time for new resources to make an impact and must identify and address their issues to regain momentum. Fernando Alonso, Aston Martin's star driver, has expressed frustration as he often carries the team with his performance. His recent radio messages indicate growing impatience and dissatisfaction with the team's declining form. If improvements aren't made, his frustration may continue to show. 
So what do you think of the truth behind Aston Martin's downfall? Comment below and AMP. Subscribe for more.